Hey everyone, welcome. This is Ed from Salute Quest, and today we've got a good one. This is Architects of the West Kingdom, a game by Shem, uh, Shem Phillips and SG McDonald. It is published by Garfield Games. I got this on Kickstarter. We will do an unboxing today of the base game, and I'll also show you all of the promos that uh, were being uh, also included in the Kickstarter version of the game, which I, I think it's just pretty much just you, what you get in the retail version, uh, but you would get uh, a bunch of promos from backing in the Kickstarter campaign. So yeah, Architects of the West Kingdom. I'm a huge fan of the Raiders of the uh, North Sea, as you probably saw in my impressions video, or you probably didn't, I don't know. But if you didn't, hey, go check it out. It's, uh, it's a good video, I, I heard someone say. So <laughs> this is Architects of the West Kingdom. I'm expecting the same quality here because reviews have been really good for this game. Uh, this is another worker placement uh, game uh, that um, you know throws in a few, a few uh, different things that you're accustomed to with worker placements. So in this one, you are kind of like uh, piling up your workers in a certain uh, place to kind of boost that that uh, that specific position, uh, what it what you gain from from uh, putting your workers in there, and then you can actually lose them. They'll all go to prison, and it looks like really 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 fun gameplay. Uh, so yeah, Architects of the West Kingdom. I'm just babbling here. What you want to see is the game, not me uh, babbling. So let's get this one open. I'm also expecting the same kind of beauty that you get from Raiders because let me tell you I, I don't know if I I've said it enough but that game is beautiful I just adore the colors and the artwork on Raiders of the North Sea and this one seems to be uh, well exactly the same it's the same kind of quality the same kind of artwork they are going for and uh, it's really up my alley so yeah Architects of the West Kingdom here is the cover very pretty I like it a lot there we go so uh, let me show you the sides so you probably have a few, well, these are either characters uh, that you, there you go, you can recruit or maybe actually characters you can use because in this game, um, you will actually be someone. You're not just uh, uh, a tableau on the board, on the table that uh, you are picking up your workers uh, or your crew, uh, actually. In Raiders, you were uh, hiring crew members, but you weren't really anyone on the table. You are this... Uh, well, this authority that no one knows who it is, um, maybe a Jarl, I don't know. Uh, but on Architects, you are a character. So there are player boards um, with uh, different powers. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, already a bit of replayability right there. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. So let's just look at the stuff in the game and I'll explain, then. Uh, I'll explain it to you. So we have our rule book right up top. There we go, beautiful colors just like the game cover. So here we go. We have a look at the board right there. So uh, looking at it right away, it does seem a bit like um, Raiders of the North Sea. So you have your gold. Um, we have clay, stone. Well, these are pretty much the same. We have silver as well. We have wood, player markers, some workers. The workers are different. These are not Vikings anymore. Uh, yeah, but uh, the overall look of the thingy uh, is uh, it, it kind of harkens back to Raiders and for me that is a good thing I like that familiarity um, to know that uh, you know this is kind of in, it's not the same trilogy but it's the same family of games I don't know uh, you know designed by Shem so yeah I like that uh, it throws back to Raiders and um, it it, um, it builds on that good reputation that Raiders had or has actually so yeah here is our rule book again lot of text, some pictures to show you the examples. Again, this uh, is a very pretty one. The text stands, guard house, build hall. There we go. So just giving you a, a thorough look at the rule book and some quick reminders on the back. I hope this isn't too bright. It kind of is, isn't it? Oh, well. Okay, rule book. There you go. So now we have these apprentice abilities, building effects, solo play and variable setup. I, okay, so this is kind of another um, set of rules, I guess. Uh, so you have additional stuff for all of these apprentice abilities. Ah, okay, so this is kind of a, uh, a reminder for um, the abilities or to explain you to you what each of the apprentices, the abilities on the cards actually do. Okay, so it helps you, uh, I guess it helps you with that. 
Okay, so I would try to fix the lighting a little bit because it was a bit strong here. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, these are pretty much, well, to help you uh, remember what each of these uh, do, each of the apprentices, then each of the buildings, what, what are their, their actual effects on the game itself. Kind of a play a reminder. So solo play. Now you have your rule set for the solo play, and as you can see, uh, your opponent, the Othoma, will also have a, a, a board. So not just you, but also the Othoma with its own uh, its own powers, I guess. They they will have their own uh, powers. And uh, what is this? This head solo play. Oh, and variable setup. Uh, I don't know if this is the variable setup. Oh, there we go. Here is the variable setup. Okay, so that is, that's cool. So more replayability right there. And I guess these are the different characters that we can play with. There's Therese, Rudolf, Frederick, Caroline, and Ada. Uh, I'm not sure if... Uh, yeah, the, there's a few others, I think, from the Kickstarter campaign that are not depicted here. But yeah, there's a, a bit of characters that you can uh, play with. The, the, the game will certainly be uh, different for each one because they have vari the, those variable uh, player powers and uh, they're certain to throw in some replayability into the game. Now, here we go. We have our silver right here. Our tokens for the money. Uh, well, since I mostly play, play solo, uh, and since Raiders brings quite a, a few coins, I'll actually just use uh, half of the coins on, of Raiders in this game. I'm hoping that's enough. I'm not sure if uh, if those uh, coins will be enough. If not, well, I will have to stick with these tokens because I didn't get the metal coins. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a cheap guy. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't get them, mainly because I have Raiders and I'm not using all of the coins from Raiders. So yeah, uh, here's to hoping uh, the, those coins are enough. If not, well, we have these beautiful uh, coin tokens to represent our currency in the West Kingdom. And there we go. So now we have the player boards, I guess. This is actually one of the AI's boards. So let's get these out of here. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. We have threes. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, one of the sides has these uh, the, the the player powers, okay, the variable player powers, and the other one, well, it has actually uh, it's pretty much the same, is it? No, I'm not sure it is. It might be. I don't know. I'm not sure. I thought one of the sides would be blank. Actually, it is not. So, not sure if there's actually differences from each of the sides. But yeah, there we go. So you have threes. Don't mind me, I'm just babbling. I'm not sure um, what bo the, the both sides actually mean. There is Caroline here. There we go. Again, she has... I think this might be actually the, the one with powers and this is probably just some sort of reminder. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. We have Ada. There we go. This looks to be some sort of member of the royalty. We have Frederick, which I do like. His look a lot although he is a bit angry with something there we go yeah this artwork is just great I mean I really like and even the background they they went with a little touch in there which is very nice and we have Rudolf here also very hang angry well I like yellow I usually go for yellow uh, but this guy isn't too appealing <laughs> he's a bit too angry I don't know and then Constantine this is one of the AIs uh, I believe this is the well the easy AI and then on the other side you have Elena which is the hardest AI I think that's um, that's correct so you I think we, you have these two right here on the base game I'm not sure if, if we have some more on the promos we will see it very soon uh, but hey there we go we have our board here and uh, let's get this one open it's it seems like it is oh no it's not uh, so I was going to say it it seemed like it was very vertical like uh, Raiders it is not it is very horizontal thank God as you can see and again it's it looks beautiful now it is again a top-down view which is right up my alley I really like when it's a top-down view and you are putting your workers in uh, in uh, in a map where actually what you are trying to accomplish is being done in the artwork so I really like that that's really a thematic it really pushes you into the game uh, so yeah as you can see the board is beautiful very nice colors in here a little bit darker than the Raiders board, uh, I would say, probably. Uh, but yeah, I guess the Raider, Raiders board pops up because of the, the blue, the water, 
the, the water is really beautiful. I, I love the blues that they, they use. This one is more of a greenish look, so that's probably why it doesn't pop up that much. It, it, it's a bit more darker. But again, it is a beautiful board. I just, I, I love this, uh, this artist. It's really, it's really, really great. So yeah, here we go. It's the board. It's probably the same size. It's very similar. Uh, but while Ra the Raiders board was uh, vertical, this one is horizontal, which is a bit friendlier to your table. Uh, I can testify that. Okay, so it folds up very nicely. There we go. That's our board. Let me put it in here. Now we have a whole bunch, and I do mean a whole bunch of uh, workers and tokens and stuff. Let me show you just a few examples. I, we're not going to look at all of these because, well, this will be probably, there's going to be probably a lot of repetition. We have our silica here. Very nice. Now, Here's our marble tokens. So these are pretty standard um, rectangular shaped um, tokens. These are for the marble with a very light blue uh, color. Okay, there we go. We have quite a few in here. Uh, then what else? We have our clay, which is a very rectangular <laughs> token as well. These are all wooden. Okay, they're a dark reddish color and this represents our clay and there's a whole bunch of them right here. Uh, what else do we have for resources? We have our stone which uh, is exactly the same as Raiders I believe if I'm not mistaken. If not it's very similar so yeah little wooden token here to represent the stone and there's a bunch of them as expected and last but not least there should be a gold. Ah, there we go. Here's the gold. Ah, so this is not like Raiders. Well, uh, the shape is the same, but the color is different. This one is more of, uh, has more of an orange uh, tone to it, while Raiders is clearly a, a very yellow uh, token. But yeah, there we go. So this will be our gold. Whole bunch of them, just to be sure. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, for our resources, we have our wood here, which I do like this token a lot. I like it when they do the wood like this with kind of a little log um, thingy. So let me see if I can focus this. Oh, yeah, there we go. So this is our wood token. So yeah, that's all of the resources that we get in the base game, which are quite a few. So there's wood, stone, gold, there's clay and there's marble. A lot of stuff. And now we have our workers. So we have five uh, different colors. We have red, uh, purple, green, blue, and yellow. I'm just going to show you the red one because it's the closest to me. And here we go. I think, the, oh no, so, sorry. These are not just workers. So we have also our player, oh, sorry, our player marker. Uh, I think it's the same one we had on Raiders. At least the shape uh, is the same. We have two of these to uh, represent us climbing on different, um, different uh, tracks. And then we have our workers. There we go. Fairly simple. These are common folk after all. I mean, yes, we are not kings. We, these, these are not kings, these are workers. And so yeah, these are very common folk just trying to help us build our cathedrals in uh, Architects of the West Kingdom. So that's, that's what it is. So you get a bunch of workers for each color, each player color. And uh, yeah, hopefully you won't get them all arrested while playing. So yeah. There's five sets of these. Then, of course, zip bags. There we go. It's a staple already in every board game, I guess. Thank God. So a few zip bags for organization's sake. And then we have our cards. So uh, these cards, I'm not sure what they are. I gotta say, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure what these are, but I'll show them anyway. Or I can just look them up in the rule book really quick, can't I? Of course I can. So these are actually, there we go, let's open them up. Ah, so these are the depth cards. There we go. Okay, so depth cards right here at the top. There's 22 of these. I'll show you on the other side. I know I have, yeah, it actually says depth in there. So I could have gotten there by myself, I guess. <laughs> so here we go. So I guess this is the back side because they're all the same on this side. And uh, yeah, and I'm guessing there's different stuff here, is it? Or are the depths all the same? No, actually they are all the same. All of the depths are the same. Okay, so these are exactly the same. 
22 of these. Uh, then we have these ones, which are, um, well, these are just multiplier cards. That's all they are. So, yeah, 10 and 5. So I guess if you're running a low on resources, you can just pile them on these cards and they will multiply them. There's a few of these. Then there's also these cards, which are the black market cards. There we go. Not sure how the black market actually works, but hey, there's a bunch of cards for these. There we go. Very cool, very cool artwork, I like it. So they represent resources, I'm guessing you can buy them or you can trade them or you can acquire them for free, I have no idea, but that's what they uh, are here for. And these are uh, reward cards for accomplishing stuff in the game. And when I say stuff, it's probably things that will be hard to do and which I have no idea what they are. So, oh, here's the back, okay, there we go. Okay, these, not the greatest fan of this card back, but oh well. So these are, could be your rewards. Okay, so these are four of the type of cards you get. And there's also another deck here, which will certainly have our apprentices and our buildings and our uh, automa, I guess. Because there's already uh, some sorts, well, the first card already relates to solo play. So yeah, I'm certain the automa is inside of this as well so here we go solo play setup instructions right at the top there we go solo play rules two players versus the bot which is also a possibility and it's pretty cool two player versus bot rules there we go so black market yeah so this is definitely the automa cards let me actually filter them by card back okay there we go so here's the card back of our automa cards so as you can see, we have both Constantine and Elena here, which uh, yes, are the two AIs that we will be facing. And here are the cards that, uh, well, that will dictate what they do on each turn. I'm guessing this up top is where they're going to do their stuff and below probably the, the actions that they will try to accomplish uh, that turn to try to screw you, screw you over as much as they can. <laughs> So there we go. That's our Athoma cards. And then we have these ones. Actually, let's go through card backs. Ah, so these are probably, yeah, these are buildings and these are apprentices. Let's look at the apprentices. So here's the backs. Pretty simple stuff, but it's pretty, pretty enough. And there we go. Again, yes, very, uh, very similar to Raiders, which is nice. I, I really enjoyed the Raiders. It's a very clean look, easy to read, easy to understand. And this just goes uh, goes in that same direction, which is nice. So we have a Conspirator here, a Debt Collector. Whoa, this guy looks nasty. Uh, gatekeeper. <laughs> Illusionist, I like him. We have a Jeweler. We have a Laborer, poor bastard. A Merchant. A lot of Merchants. We have a Miner. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> has a bomb stretch attached to his belly. We have a patron. We have a pickpocket. We have a squire here. Uh, this squire, uh, I'll show it in a second. We have another squire uh, that's going to show up in this video as well. We have a stone cutter. Ooh, we have a swindler. He looks nice. I like the artwork on this guy. A thief and a trader and also a trickster and a woodcutter. So. You'll get these apprentices on the base game. And last but not least, we have our buildings. So this is what we are going to build. I mean, this is the architects of the West Kingdom. I mean, it's not the apprentices of the West Kingdom. So of course there's buildings to build. And that's, I guess we will, this is mainly what we will do to uh, get our victory points. So we can build an aqueduct, an armory, barracks, betting house, carpenter's huts, a castle, a chapel, a church, a clay market. A clay pit, drafting room, a dungeon, look at the artwork on this one, <laughs> very cool. A factory, fortress, fountain, a gambler's den, a hideout, I don't know what this is. Town center, huh, I guess this one is lost in, in here. A keep, I'll just leave it here because it might actually be marking something, I don't know. A keep, a library, a lighthouse, lumber camp, mason's hut, moneylender, monument, observatory, palace, reservoir, a silver market, a smithy, 
a steeple, a stone market, a tavern, a thief's den, Tyler's huts, Jesus, a trading post, a treasury, a university, a watchtower, a well, and a wood market. I mean, there's a lot of uh, buildings in here, and as you can, can see, as you saw, they are all different. So there's no duplicates in this deck, which is nice. Uh, there's a few duplicates on the apprentices, but I mean, you were going for their abilities, so uh, it's actually uh, good, I guess, that there's a few um, duplicates so that you can take your uh, favorite ones more than once. So let's put all of this in the box. Well, not all of it, because we will waste too much time doing that. So let's just put these, because I'm going to show you the promos right now. The promos, uh, well, I'm just making a mess of this. Never mind me, there we go. So let me show you the promos that you got, you could get in, uh, in the Kickstarter version of the game. Uh, so these are, there you go, Architects 2018 promos. So let's crack this open and see what we would get in this promo pack there we go so you get a huge zip bag right at, right up front and then you get one uh, um, a few cards a few promos uh, and as you can see there we go there's that other square i was talking about uh, but this one is for raiders of the north sea so you actually get uh if I could just open this, you actually get uh, cards for Raiders as well, which is nice because, well, I do have Raiders, so I will make good use of this. So um, this is the Squire. He will uh, make an appearance on Raiders as well. You also get the Swindler. There we go. Swindler, sorry. And the Trickster to use on Raiders. Okay, so you get these three promos for Raiders, which is really nice. They didn't have to do that, but they did, and it's much appreciated. Thank you. So... A few more buildings as well. We have a crane, we have a graveyard, a museum. So these are for architects of the West Kingdom. We can just add them to our building deck. And we have some more apprentices. You have the enforcer here, you have the overseer, and you have the peddler. Okay, so three more um, of these apprentices to use in architects of the West Kingdom as well. Uh, well, besides all of that, you get a few more of these. So some more player boards and quite a few more actually. So you have Lothair. There we go. You have Hugo, which looks a bit weird. You have Clovis, which I love. I love this artwork. It's really, really something. You have Farah. And you have Bertha. Since I'm a yellow guy, I'll probably use Bertha a lot. I like her. I like her better than the other dude. He looks kind of too much, too angry. So yeah, you, so basically you're doubling almost, uh, uh, I guess you're doubling, yeah, your uh, player boards and your variable player powers for sure. I'm guessing these are all different from the base game. So a lot of diversity in this promo pack. And last but not least, you get this. This is a, uh, well, a cardboard uh, stand for your text stand. So you can actually put together a cardboard text stand with these. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to do it right away. Why not? This is going for too long already. So if you're still in here, you don't mind waiting just a little sec a bit more, do you? No, you don't. So let me just see if I can get this together. Okay, it should be like this. There we go. I could edit this all out, but I mean, nah, why would I? You, you clearly want to see this, don't you? Of course, this is the most interesting thing in the world is seeing me putting this text stand together because I mean, yeah, this, this, okay, there we go. So I'm just doing the frame first and then I'll, I'll put all of it in the, the other thingy. Is this right? Yeah, it should be. So there we go. It should go in like this. No, it's not going in or, should, or will it go like this or maybe like this? Okay, there we go. Maybe I should have had it edited this out. Oh, well, there we go. We have a text then. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a very simple one, but oh well. So <laughs> you do get a text stand here. This is just, you can place your coins in here uh, and well, it will go on the, on the, um, the boards on the table and it'll just collect your coins in here so that they don't uh, you know flush out uh, to the sides and just uh, overrun the board and go on the other worker placement spots so uh, for quickness sake so that i don't open up the board here here is our text stand it's right here you see this this uh, square 
or rectangular, that's where you will place this uh, this stand. So yeah, that's it. Phew, that was that took a while. Uh, so yeah, that's all you we we got in uh, our architects of the West Kingdom Kickstarter campaign. Quite eager to get this uh, started and uh, learning the rules and actually showing you a playthrough of this because I love Raider, so this one is going to be on my top list for sure. But yeah, thank you so much for bearing with me all of this time. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.